Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. <laughs> Did you guys miss me? Went missing for a couple of days. Some of y'all thought I went to Florida already. My Florida trip has not even happened yet. It's next week. Um, I just needed a couple of days because um, I was getting overwhelmed with a lot of different responsibilities and the planning, y'all, the planning of a lot of upcoming things had started to really um, show its weight, right? I got two major trips coming up. I got my birthday and I got my dad's birthday and they're both like kind of back to back. So. I needed to kind of, you know, take a stab at some of the planning for that. For my birthday, I actually have some plans that are happening. I'm not going to tell you guys about them just yet. Um, but my dad's birthday, I've kind of talked about it already. Um, we're taking him to Egypt and we're going with kind of a, a group. And it's kind of a nice size group. It was time to like look at flights and like advise people on how to book the flights and all that stuff. Because I hadn't realized before that it takes an entire like day to get to Egypt. So like if you plan to go, you can't plan to like fly in the day that you plan on your, you know, vacation to start. You have to fly in a day before and you know we had to kind of go through all of that with everyone and I'm kind of taking the lead on coordinating uh, somehow I got seated in that position and I you know usually just show up for the job if people need my help I'll just like show up and do it so that's kind of where we're at um, but my birthday plans are solidifying and it's really cool it's going to be kind of a group trip retreat type of thing and I'll give you guys more details as we get closer but yeah so the weekend is starting it's a lot of stuff going on y'all it's going to be a really really fun festive weekend and um, we're starting off by doing some fun stuff with the kids. And then I've got Anne's like in-home therapy training. They do like a monthly parent training thing. So they're, the therapists are going to come into the house and we're going to be doing whatever for about an hour or so. It's going to be that. That's actually happening today. And then um, I planned this nice dinner on this rooftop and stuff for me and Anthony. It's like a, a holiday like heated igloo type of situation and I don't know if you guys have ever visited Chicago or if you're from Chicago you know the rooftop views be priceless if you're from here and you've never done like a rooftop dinner in the winter or even in the summer but in the winter for sure you have to try it like it's the most beautiful enchanted thing so we're doing that so yeah I've just figured that now's the time for me to just like get back into uh, vlogging and just kind of kick this thing off where we left off so yeah your girl has been busy but let's go ahead and get this day started you know having some coffee and an FBI mug, <laughs> it's Anthony's mug. And I'm actually on my way to get my nails done and I have to do some quick shopping to get ready for the weekend and stuff. So do you guys wanna come? Well, just say that. <laughs> so I just got Ann off to therapy and I made our bed and stuff. So it's looking all cozy and everything. Oh, let me show you all this blanket I got. <laughs> My um, management team sent me this like really luxurious like blanket. It's super soft, y'all. And Ann absolutely loves it. She fell asleep wrapped in it like a freaking cocoon. She fell asleep an hour bed, girl. But um, she loves that blanket. It's kind of weighted. Not on purpose, but I think just because of the quality, it's a little heavier. She's really feeling it. The weighted blanket that we have for her, we put it away because we realized it was a little too heavy. So we're gonna keep it until she gets bigger, but we haven't used it because it's a little too heavy. I think it's like a 15 pound uh, weighted blanket. I don't think it's that much, y'all. I don't think it's that much, but whatever it is, it's too heavy for her. So I guess I could get her another one, but we might just wait for her to grow into that one. Anthony's chilling, watching corporate. <laughs> Y'all got the same tea. Chicago be like, so funny. It's his favorite. Okay, so here's my breakfast. Thank you, hon. Wait, Anthony, not you looking at the CPD website while drinking out of a mug that says this while watching corporate. No, actually, no. This is about buying lots. Oh. Land, about buying land. Land in Chicago, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's like, no, no, I ain't looking at no CPD. I don't get out with them like that. I'm just glad it's playing. <laughs> I threw my poinsettias away, y'all. They all died. Somebody had called it out like, uh, yeah, they need water, but y'all have been trying to water it. And uh, it was just running straight through, so I think I needed to repot it, and I didn't. But anyway, I kind of didn't like them that much anyway. They were too big for right here. I was telling Anthony just this morning, like, we got to figure out something for this countertop because I have not been able to get it right yet. I'm never satisfied with how it looks. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking so he can listen and eat my breakfast. Okay. Have you ever seen your screen So y'all, I actually have not been to the gym in a week. I feel so off my square. Okay, I feel out of pocket. 
and I know when I do go back I'm gonna have all this energy but I'm gonna be sore as hell the next day <clears throat> there's my neighbor <laughs> so yeah going to the uh, nail shop in the middle of the day on a weekday is perfect y'all because there is no line no way you ain't got to make an appointment all that you can just walk right in and get serviced so I think since I have time and since I know it's gonna be fast I'm probably gonna get my toenails done too I hadn't got my toenails done in a while y'all because after I had ran that half marathon I had some some toe problems some toenail problems with my second toe girl so I just went like polish free for like months at a time and then everything resolved and healed itself so my toenails are back to normal but girl me and Mumu both had some major uh, setbacks with the doggone second toe because we were uh, wearing probably the wrong shoes for the run and stuff speaking of that half marathon y'all I'm probably gonna run another one uh, next year I think I'm just gonna make it my annual thing until I can anymore, right? Um, I do enjoy running. It's one of my favorite uh, fitness activities. And, you know, I want to do it until I can't. Such an exhilarating experience. Like, I'll never forget it. It's so much fun. And so rewarding. Like, oh, man. So I was thinking about that recently. Like, I probably will do another one and try to beat my previous time, you know. Hey you guys, I'm all done. Look at my nails, they're so freaking cute. I love it. I did it more pointy this time. Can y'all see that? Camera's so bad. Um, I did like a glittery red, but the glitter is very subtle. This is perfect for like a holiday party, you know what I'm saying? I didn't wanna do any designs or anything like that. Y'all know I keep my nails real simple, but yeah girl, so it was so cute because my nail technician, I go to the girl named Phoebe, she's so good. I go to her every time. And then uh, they gave me a cute little gift for uh, Christmas. It's a hand cream. They are so nice and sweet. Um, was not expecting that. And then of course I tipped well, always tip well, especially during the holiday season because you know, it's the holiday. I am so excited about the weekend. It doesn't even make sense. I just act like I ain't been nowhere. I just get so excited about hanging out with my husband. You know, I just get so excited about that. So um there's a certain checklist of things that happen before we go out when we're in the city when we go into the city and it's like an event or dinner or something there's a checklist and so i gotta get my nails done i gotta figure out my hair my outfit and all that but i also gotta get a car wash y'all like i don't be knowing if we're gonna do uber or if we're gonna drive but if we drive uh whether it's my car or my husband's car it has to have a car wash we gotta be clean when we go in the city you know what i'm saying <laughs> are y'all like that too date nights and stuff you just you know, when you guys are stepping out and you got on your cute outfit and your nice, like, wool coats and everything. You want to be stepping out of, like, a clean car, you know, especially if you valet and stuff. So, I'm still not sure yet if we're going to drive or do Uber because we are definitely going to be drinking them holiday drinks. So, I'll see. Sometimes if Anthony is driving um, and we're doing the drinking thing, he just won't drink. He'll just abstain. And honestly, I'll be like, I'm not willing to sacrifice that like that. But, um... Because of his profession and stuff, he's always the one to volunteer to not do the drinking if we're in a situation like that. But this time, I don't want him to do that. I want him to drink with us. So, so maybe we'll just take Uber or something. Oh my god, let's shop together. How cute is this, y'all? Oh my god, it's a bodysuit. Look at those sleeves. That would be so warm in this. Why they got my size though? I cannot pull off a medium in that top. That's cute too. Let's keep looking. I really like the um oh this is cute. to try this one on and they have my size um these are some audacious holiday dresses let me show y'all one that i was like what girl look at this one not this one <laughs> this one look at that that's a holiday dress and then wait till i show you the back girl that's different 
I would do it. That could be pulled off. This is a good one too. Girl, I'm vlogging on my phone. People think I'm on FaceTime so I can get away with talking to my phone. It's so funny in a store like this, you can do that and get away with it. It's funny the different places they let you film without, you know, tripping. <laughs> oh, I love the music. It's perfect. I love department stores in the Christmas season. Oh, y'all want to see me? Hi. I really be outside like a bum. I really be outside like this. Okay, where's that thing I wanted to get for Anne? Oh. Here it is. Is that it? Barn? Yeah, this is it. This is what she wanted. It's a barn set. Okay, see now I done overdid it. I got this stuff I bought for Anne. It's heavy as shit. And I'm gonna have to take it to my car because I'm not gonna be able to walk around with that. So I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I picked up these two pieces, y'all. This one. Just thinking, you know, I need to be warm on that rooftop. Ain't gonna need me playing. But I'm just gonna go ahead and try this one on. Just to see, y'all. It's just such a, an adorable little top. It's got that iridescent glow. It's like so holiday. And I actually have the perfect earrings for that too. But, um,. I kind of already changed my mind thinking like oh I should just wear like some slacks that I already have and just find a shirt that way I know I'll be warm I'm also kind of leaning towards wearing a sweater you know um I'm just gonna try it on for shits and gigs I want to just see it let me just try it all so y'all can see it okay this is how it looks on that's the back um it's cute you know, it's very holiday. Um, what y'all thinking? I think I'm gonna keep looking. It's definitely cute though. It's very pretty. I mean, if I had to, I would do it. But I think I'm gonna keep looking, y'all. Oh yeah, and I'm just gonna try on this cardigan thing just to see I wasn't gonna get it to go with this dress but I was just getting it to wear with other things that I might already have at home so I just wanted y'all to see how that looked and this is a size medium so I guess this could work if you really needed it like a nice jumpsuit underneath it something that's sleeveless so you don't get too warm um so you'll be very cozy in this but i'm not sure if this is anything that that i would have anything to go with the fit is not exactly what i thought it would be it's a little boxy you know oh it was on sale too yeah i don't think i need it though all right let's uh go to another store sweater on so looking at more dresses I'm trying to see crochet so I'm in Macy's right now I'm just gonna try on these three dresses and just show y'all what they look like on the hanger so there's this one y'all it just all sequined out y'all very very pretty I'll be super warm in something like this right it's like having on a suit jacket um, and then this one yeah, I'm a sucker for black this is like a sexy black cat right here. More on the probably comfy side. Feels kind of like a pajama gown. And then this one, which is very, very sexy because I was in the wine color mode. So I'm like, oh, what about this one? And it's long. I think it's actually longer than a midi length. And then it's got the sheer, right? This is for my small boob girls, right? No cleavage. So let's try these on. Y'all mm, let me know what you think. Here it is, y'all. Okay. 
What I do love about it is the shoulder pads, right? They had me at shoulder pads. I love the way it just really accentuates the um, silhouette. So I love shoulder pads. Um, it's a medium, so I would normally go for a small because I don't have the boobs and stuff to really fill it out. But if I wear a padded bra, I could probably pull this off pretty nicely. I'm just trying to see y'all. I really like it though. I really do. It's perfect for dinner. Um, I know for sure it's going to run my tights though because of the sequence that's in the under the hem. And uh, it's for sure going to run my tights. So, damn it. All right, let's try on some more. Okay, this one is definitely a midi. All right, I underestimated how uh, short it was. So it comes just, just about to the knee until you, um, so the hips start needing a place to fit and it rises up a little bit. But um, this one would be really cute with like a nice bra to really like frame everything. And it's super comfortable, that is for sure. I would just really need some really statement type earrings to really drive home the holiday for this. Because right now it's like, you know, it's not super holiday. There's no glitter or anything. So I don't know, this is a contender. I would definitely be warm because this is for sure a sweater. Um, let's see. Okay, y'all, this is the third one. I really don't like this one because I feel like you really gotta have the boobs to fill this top part out. This is just so loose here. But um, anyway, these last two I'm trying on are smalls and they're fitting a little big in the chest region. That's why I be struggling, y'all. I'm like curvy down here and then a little boy up here <laughs> so no this one this one is not giving anything so i'm gonna take this one off i'll find something <laughs> okay excuse my little dingy bra okay but i'm definitely getting those for new year's eve <sighs> your girl got hungry you want to eat snacks <laughs> I'm getting my hand, I need something to eat. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm wearing this to New Year's Eve. Hello. Baby, you want something from Jamba Juice? Yeah, I'll take one of those little bowls. A little bowl? You want an acai bowl like the one I be getting? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm about to pull up. Uh, I'm starving like Marvin. I was in the store eating um, one of Ann's little, what do you call it? The little goldfish i was eating a bag of goldfish because i'm like i need something because i'm about to pass out okay baby i'm gonna run in here i'll see you soon all right all right matter of fact i should order it while i'm sitting in this car that's exactly what i'm about to do because i don't really be liking to stand in jamba juice and be like waiting for my stuff but anyway y'all this was a really productive shopping trip i ain't even mad I should have went to, the only thing I regret is that I didn't go to Express first y'all Express got all the holiday outfits okay I went ahead and got that uh, suit because I'm still in my uh, Beyonce ape shit uh, Halloween um, mind frame girl because I'm all about the two-piece suit honey you know when I was getting ready for that costume and stuff I was like I, like studying that suit and it made me like look at other suits and I'm like damn this suit thing is kind of kind of hot for like really special occasions and stuff so yeah girl I am going to um, be wearing a suit for New Year's Eve I uh, mean Anthony have dinner plans we're not going out to no parties or anything but we are gonna go to like a really nice kind of upscale restaurant and sit down and bring in the new year in that way I wanted to make sure I had an outfit for that before it's too late because I didn't want that stuff to get all picked over and everything in, in Express uh, for women was half off anywho girl when I was in Express the guy who was checking me out he um, well, checking me out at the register. Let, <laughs> let me clarify, girl. Um, so uh, he was a younger guy, right? Probably in his uh, like early to mid twenties, and he had locks, and they looked just like Anne's. And y'all, I will never be seeing people whose locks look like Anne's for whatever reason. I do not know. Like, 
I don't be seeing it. You know what I'm saying? So, cause like Ann's locks are so thick that each of them are like the size of my thumb. And I love that for her. Even when they look frizzy, they look good. Like I really love that look. You know, that's just a personal preference of, my, preference of mine. So this guy had his locks that looked just like that. And um, they needed to be retwisted according to him. But I was just like, I can't even tell. Like I'm looking at the ends. Like and his hair was like about right here. And I told him that it, it was like my daughter's and he was kind of surprised like, and then he was like, is your daughter mixed or something? And I was like, no, um, cause I, apparently he was mixed. And, um, but I was telling Anthony when I got in the car, I was talking to him about it. And I was just like, you know, in the black community or, or like when it comes to like hair texture among us, the mix that led to the hair texture is not always the same. Am I making sense? So like I could take a person who's like mom is white and their dad is black And then I could take a black person who has like two black parents and they might have the same hair texture Like you know what I'm saying? So um, it was funny that he mentioned that but that is a guy thing to say, you know He, he wouldn't really know but anyway um, We were talking about hair and stuff and he was saying how the reason his locks are so thick is because he doesn't over style them And I'm like, oh that might be the, the key to why Ann's th locks are so thick because like that guy I don't style her hair a lot we literally wash and retwist like once a month and I let her hair be um, we might do like a pulled back little little half up half down or something like that but I don't do really any styling with her hair and honestly I have no regrets about that like she looks so cute with her locks the way they are um, they're kind of just free and they get to like do whatever and they each lock kind of varies it's not like super uniform which no you know, no shade against people whose locks are super uniform. I like that too. But I also really like the ways the way Ann's locks are coming together. So so talking to that guy kind of like reaffirmed what I'm doing with Ann's hair is probably the right thing to do for us, you know? Hey, hey, okay, I'm home, y'all. We ate our acai bowls. <laughs> I had to come upstairs and grab my camera. So the therapist just left. I wanted to show y'all these bags. So this is um some gifts for Ann's cousins. But look at these cute prints on here. I got these from Walmart. Can y'all see them? Focus, focus. Okay. Isn't this cute? Little kids in these little hot cocoa cups. I love this, y'all. So I got a couple of them for the cousins. Y'all gotta check out Walmart. It's in the holiday gift wrap section. Just hanging right up. Oh, thank you so much, baby. I saw that you just mopped that quick. Uh, Sansa just came in. We had her out back. She was barking and stuff. She came in with her little wet feet. Y'all, it's snowing. Let me show y'all the snow. Let me show y'all the backyard. The backyard snow. Ooh, look. It's a winter wonderland. Really for Midwest, this is very little snow. But look how cute it's coming down all soft. Um, Anthony said he wasn't sure how many inches we were supposed to get. But I don't think it's going to be very much. Um, hopefully it's not too much for our little date night we're having. Mm -hmm. You know, and be all crazy. I'm like, they better clean that rooftop off because we are coming. So we put our reservation in, uh, we coming, okay? Anyway, uh, so the meeting went really, really well. Girl, Ann was running a muck up in here <laughs> during the meeting. Like, she acts so different when she's around those um, therapy center people because, you know, she can wild out with them more so than she wilds out with us, right? Because they pretty much cater to her. It's literally like, at all times, it's like two or three adults around her just praising her and encouraging her and reinforcing things and you know because they make it a fun loving environment and so when they come around and be like it's party time where's my ipad let's dance girl let's let's do all these things because they they have all the energy girl i just be like oh i'm tired just watching y'all so how was your day baby it's smooth <laughs> did you like your acai bowl you tore that mug up I'm sure. <laughs> and did you have a good time with megan mm. and she's eating doritos that she requested using her picture exchange communication system sweet girl okay let me show y'all real quick the things that i bought from the mall y'all will see what dress i chose because i ended up choosing one of those dresses that i tried on okay for our dinner on the rooftop so i'll show y'all when, when i'm fully wearing it and stuff and y'all will check me out you know what i'm saying see how it all came together you know what i'm saying create a little suspense for y'all you know <laughs> and um Y'all, let me show y'all what all I got. So, oh my God, I told them to put my um, two-piece set from Express in two separate bags because I do not want this little cheap sequence stuff interacting with each other and, you know, getting snagged and all that stuff, girl. So, I'm going to try my best to keep that outfit from getting messed up. 
Okay, and show us I got. So I did go to Bath and Body Works. Girl, they just giving that stuff away up in there. It's like buy three, get three free. Like it's, it was a madhouse in there. That's why I didn't vlog because it was just, I mean, could you imagine how many people would have been like, oh no, no, oh, oh. So I didn't even pull my camera out, okay? Um, but <sighs> great deals, okay? So I ended up getting something for Ann's babysitter. I wanted to get her something. We're gonna see her on Saturday. So that's the perfect time for me to present her present to her. So I got one of those big um, gift sets, right? Heavy as hell, y'all. was so like, oh my God, my arm is gonna break. But all the full size goodness and all that. Is I did end up buying some other items. So I'm not gonna show y'all just yet because he might see this vlog. So I won't show that. Let me show y'all what else I got. Oh, that was pretty much it. Y'all already saw what I got from Bon Mar for the Ann Burger. I showed y'all that when I was inside the store. Didn't I? Did I trust you guys when I was in the store? Well, hopefully I did because I can't show it now because she's sitting right here. And if I pull this stuff out of this bag, she's going to tackle me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wrap uh, one of these gifts tonight because I got time and then I'm gonna get in the tub And I uh, read a little bit more of this book that I'm reading and then I'm gonna go to bed Because tomorrow is gonna be crazy and we're gonna be out late and all that um, Tomorrow I'm taking the girls To Navy Pier for a Christmas festival thing. So yeah girl this weekend is crazy. So I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Okay. Thanks for waiting on me. Thanks for sticking around and thanks for watching this video. I love y'all. Okay. Hope you're enjoying your holiday. Talk to you tomorrow.